Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. A while ago we had a video series called Launcher Wars, which showed off some of our favorite third-party launchers for Android. Android, unlike other OS's, lets you replace all kinds of stuff. If you don't like the way your launcher looks, replace it. Don't like your app drawer? Oh, that's part of the launcher. Replace it. Really neat. One of our favorites is called ADW Launcher. And for a while they just kind of rested on their laurels. I mean, they were cool and all, but there weren't that many improvements or changes until recently and we thought it was worth going back looking at all of the improvements in ADW Launcher EX. Let's get right to it. This is ADW Launcher EX. The EX version, I don't know exactly what it stands for, but I'm gonna say it stands for extra. You see, this is the paid version of the launcher. You can get a free version that just doesn't have all of the bells and whistles. If you decide to try it out, definitely try ADW.launcher. That's where you're gonna find it in the, uh, the App Store, or the, the Play Store, rather. It's written by Onderweb, so there you go. You can look it up. It's just a few bucks to get up to the EX version and it includes bells and whistles and really neat things. Try before you buy with the non-EX version and then upgrade if you want to get all the bells and whistles. So first and foremost, this is my Galaxy Nexus. It's the GSM variety and it's running Android Jelly Bean 4.2, completely stock. There's no rooting, there's no super user permissions, nothing. This is stock Android, all I've done is installed ADW Launcher EX on top of it. Now you might be thinking, hey Joe, that's cool, but I don't have Android 4.2, so I can't do any of this cool stuff. Why am I wasting my time watching this video? This will work on Android version 1.6 and up. So you can get all of this cool stuff all the way back on your G1. Think about that. Really really cool. So let's dig in and get started. First of all, you'll notice we've got basically the same thing. We've got our search bar complete with microphone for voice input and this interesting little uh, squarey thing up at the top. That's actually your uh, app drawer. You can get into it really fast that way and then quick access over here to get into settings where you can create a new group of icons. You may not have, well, let's just say you might have bloatware. These apps you don't want to see because they came preloaded with your device, no problem. Create a new group for them, put all your bloatware in that, you only have to look at one icon. Saves a lot of time when you're looking for whatever to run in your app drawer. You can remove the group, set up the group, manage all the apps in here, and jump into ADW settings, which we'll get into in just a minute here. So we've got next underneath this is your regular screen. You can actually resize the screen if you want a little bit more margin or a little less margin around it. Really cool feature. Notice at the bottom, you can scroll across. It's really quick. And you've got your page indicator, just like you'd expect. You can also get into your app drawer the traditional way by hitting the app drawer button. If you want to change icons in your dock, it's pretty simple. You long hold and you drag down to the plus sign and it just spreads them out over here. So let's go ahead and move a couple of these down here, just like that. And we'll just keep going and we'll put people over here as well. So now when I scroll around, I've got my app drawer all organized down there. It's gonna stay there really, really nice. So lots of settings and settings are really what's all about. First and foremost, let's create a new folder for these guys. Tap and hold, drag and drop. There you go, I've got a new folder, just like you'd expect with a modern version of Android. Older versions of Android didn't really have this or didn't have it in the same ease of use. Again, this works all the way back to 1.6, so now you can. You can open that up and it's paginated. You can change the order that it sorts in, uh, just lots of cool things. You can even change the style if you don't like the way that that preview looks. So let's go in and look at that. Come back in here into settings and go into ADW settings. Now there's so much stuff in here, I'm not gonna be able to cover it all. So don't think that I'm leaving out your favorite part there's just so much we can't cover it entirely. Let's look at a few of the cool things. For example, let's go into screen. We can change our action bar design. That's the one up at the top. I've got it set to light right now. We can 
disable it entirely, free up that space. We can make it transparent or based on the theme. Yes, this is a themable launcher, so you can change it based on themes that people publish and put out there in the Play Store. We can change it to a dark theme or a frame. We'll go ahead and set it to frame just for right now and see what that looks like. It does take a minute once you make changes to go back in and, and look at that, but you can see there's the, the nice looking frame now. A little bit more traditional with what you'd expect with ice cream sandwich and jelly bean. Back into ADW settings now. App drawer, we can come in and change the app drawer style. One of the, uh, the cool things that I like is this uh, roll, I'll show you too, roll and ball. So we'll do that, go back home. Now again, it's taking that time to apply all of the changes, which this, if you want to call it lag, that's the only place you're going to really find it, is applying these settings in the launcher. So we'll go ahead and open that up now. And if you look, when we scroll now, I've got a roll of icons that will flatten back out when I take my finger off the screen. So very cool, very fast too. If you thought that was cool, let's go in and show you something even cooler in our app drawer again. Let's change the style to ball. And yes, I think you know where I'm going with this. There's our grid, but when we tap and drag, it changes into a sphere that we can then flip around and cool. Functional? I, I don't know, probably not, but very, very cool. Icons, we can change the icon size. You want them bigger, you want them smaller, whatever. Let's make them uh, about 70%, 75, that'll be good. We can change the text size. Let's make that a little bit bigger, which is gonna look really awkward, so I'm not recommending you do this. Change the text color to whatever you want. Let's say I'm a droid fan. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose red. Shadow color, we can come in, let's make that a little bit of a red as well. Label color, I don't know, let's make that a uh, darker gray over here. Something, I guess that works. Fancy background, if you want to uh, enclose the icons inside of a fancy colored background, you can, like a tile or whatever. I don't like it, I like them just like that. So we'll apply that, home twice, and you can see all of my icons are now smaller and my text is bigger. So I can cram a whole bunch of more stuff on the screen. So I've made these changes. Again, I don't like how this looks. This is just for illustration purposes. You're probably not gonna do this, but if you want to, you could. I've thrown a couple of these small icons back out onto the screen. And again, I can change the icon size to pretty much whatever I want. This is 70% of normal with bigger text than normal. So now, I've changed the transition on the screens to random, just to kind of show you really what I think is the coolest part about this, and that's the, the transition effect between the screens. So, okay, Joe, sh shut up and just show us, okay? Okay, I will. So we're gonna drag it over. Actually, that was a long press, not a drag. And you can see that's just a normal one. There's a fade. There's a tumble. It's kind of a cube but all of these different things, and the animation is so fluid and fast. And again, this is random, so each one of these is, is a completely random selection. You can pick which one you like best and, and implement that across your, your, entire, your entire experience. I'm at a loss for words because, come on, this, this is just cool. It's ADW Launcher EX. It's available in the Google Play Store. You can get the free version or you can get the full EX version with all of the extras, uh, which is what I'm showing you right here. EX has a few of these extra transitions and whatnot. You can read about the differences there. I like it a lot. It's a huge improvement over what we had in the past. I'm glad to see Onderweb starting to do new stuff and bring all this out. Again, I have not even touched the, the half of what you can do with this. So make sure you go and explore and let us know what your favorite feature is down in the comments below. Showing off really cool launchers that you can use even on your really, really old Android powered devices. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.